last summer, of course, on loan with Las Palmas the season before last. That ball was played into the area. Juanmi nudges it on to this near side. Played back by Kevin Rodriguez. Now Juanmi looking to edge his way forward, but after going past Manu Brigueros, Álvaro González gets the foot in. Slightly more central, slightly more comfortable playing there, Álvaro González, but just there, the left foot knocking the ball to safety of some variety. Miguel Oyatara will take the corner left-footed as the fans begin to find their voice into the centre. Golden opportunity, and it is in now. Real Sociedad have the lead, and it's William Jose Andres Fernandez couldn't hold the first ball that came his way, and William Jose. And it is 1 0 to La Real. I've got to say, 26 minutes in. I would say it is a deserved lead as well. Let's have another look. There's the knockdown off the thigh. And Andres Fernandez tried to recover the ball there. Certainly didn't have, well, didn't even have one hand on it, let alone two. Great flick, but look at the marking there. William Jose. The may well feel he should have done better, but. I have to say, it doesn't look too confident using his hands, Andres Fernandez. Could have caught a cross earlier, but he palmed away on that occasion. Decided against trying to draw the ball into his body. Spilt it, and William Jose has his second goal of the season. And as I mentioned, Real Sociedad are trying to win their first Tohican take aim from distance, instead tries to turn provider, tries to knock it up again did that before that crafty lobbed pass, not working on either occasion it has to be said and all you decide to go long under pressure from Baca and Dia don't forget he has already been warned, and right into the back of the hero for the night, Charlie Prieto again no yellow card shown by Mr. Estrada. Xavi Prieto. Been there, seen it, done it. No doubt we'll recover from that. Not the worst challenge he's ever been involved in. Not so much an elbow, just the full weight of Alfred India in the back. Certainly a painful one, but no permanent damage done. He's back on his feet, Xavi Prieto. Alfred India. In Senegal International, born in Paris, played for France up until under 21 level before deciding Senegal would be a better bet. And Manu Trigueros involved in that. All the booing and whistling, but just see how much blood, of course, cuts on the forehead do produce quite a lot of blood, so it may not be anything too serious. I thought it makes his way to the byline, tries to buy Biura a corner. Spins back onto the field, however. Juan Mi looking to challenge. Juan Mi does it for so well. That's a good save. And Xavi Prieto was going to mark his 500th game with a goal. But Andres Fernandez denies him the opportunity. Good play here from Juan Mi. I've got to say, hesitancy in the Villarreal defence. That is not a strong tackle at all from Rodrigo. That's a good stop. That's a double save there. On the stretch, down to his left, the goalkeeper goes, does well to regain his footing and deny Xavi Prieto. Still the pressure mounts, Iremendi back into the area, Raul Navas with the flick, play on, Oyatabal will deliver it once more, deep, William Jose puts it over, Thurututh was underneath it, and there's the shot, and it is 2-0, and it is Xavi Prieto! on his 500th appearance for Real Sociedad. The 33-year-old captain of the club, local hero, makes it 2-0. A very, very smart finish too. Controlled the ball, drove it low, right inside that left-hand post. And just moments after seeing his opportunity kept out by the goalkeeper he leaves the Villarreal custodian with no chance at all look at the speed and the direction that had right inside the post no chance 
Nier out, looking more and more vulnerable as this game goes on. And we will have to be careful. Rea Sotheder don't run away with this. But everybody in this stadium delighted for Xavi Prieto. Look at the bench. Now you know what it means. He stayed loyal, had opportunities to leave. I mentioned, as I mentioned during Rea Sotheder's three season in the Segunda División. I'm sure on other occasions as well, but decided to remain at the club. A true Real Sociedad legend in footballing terms. And he's marked. Prieto to Thurutuza. Losing out in midfield. Ball changing hands. All a bit scrappy. Samuel Castillejo comes away with it. Plays it forward. And this time a free kick. Brings that rather chaotic passage of play to an end. Up and over the top again, no offside flag! And it's 3 0! They've been threatening that move more than once. And finally, Juanmi gets it right. And what a superb finish from the 24 year old. Beer Owls makeshift. Central defensive partnership of Ruben Semedo and Alfred Ndiaye caught out again. You can see the run onside. They've obviously been practicing this. Real Sociedad this time. Juanmi brings it down, gets it out from under his feet, and as Andres Fernandez came off his line, what a superb chip over the keeper that is, and it's 3 0. And going into the break. 3-0 down, Villarreal will wonder what on earth has happened inside these opening 45 minutes. Well, almost 46 minutes now, of course. What a start from Real Sociedad. And one has to say, it doesn't really flatter them. Villarreal in big, big trouble here. And the half-time whistle sounds. Treatment for Andres Fernandez. In the Villarreal goal. Looks like a knee with a hit to reappear. They do not want any more injuries, Villarreal. 